that is where you are and that is what you are. So, as uh, Kartian sir said, if you can attain simplicity in the thought process, everything is at hand. And whenever you, we feel that spiritual, like today spiritual practices has become also a habit. Some people say, without meditation I feel tired or I don't feel good. That's an addiction. <coughs> why, why do you feel tired without meditation? You should, you, should, you should be fine the way you are. You know, it's like I, I didn't get my bed tea today so I'm not happy. That means it's an addiction. It's not only alcohol or any, any uh, drugs or anything, but even a minor thing can be an addiction. I always, uh, people ask me all over the world, what is your core message? I said one, one word I can say, liberation. And what is the, what are the pillars? I said purity and faith. Two pillars. This, this is the, this is the only thing you need. And what is the substratum? Unconditional love. From unconditional love, if you can use these two pillars, you can build up towards liberation. So, in the path of liberation, more or less everything is binding. Habits, even the image you see in the mirror sometimes becomes a problem. Because you get attached to the image and you struggle to keep it. So we resist old age, we resist. That is why people go and do certain things from the face, etc. and then they feel sometimes miserable. Because they can't be, accept that they are growing old. Or body is changing, but body must change. I also tell one thing, time is moving, you cannot stop it. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, it's going. Body is moving as well. You cannot stop it. Why can't you take your mind along? Why do you drop your mind in with all the events, which is creating pain? You know, so if you can be in the present, if you can move as the body moves, if you take the mind along, you are fine. <coughs> you don't need any guru to tell you this. This is simple. You know, this is meditation. I'm telling you, this is meditation. Um, I was doing, actually, as I was telling uh, Sumaji, uh, we, we gave food to almost 300,000 people during 12-12-12, from Thailand to USA. So, I did Skype <coughs> to most of the country. people, just to, to orient them and communicate with them. So, uh, one person was uh, telling me, Mohanji, I always get the energy from your picture, image. I said, and it's trying to drop it, I said. <laughs> because you are getting an addiction. You are developing an addiction. See, my image is also an image. Eventually, you have to drop that also, like your image. You know? So, everything, understand everything which becomes a part and parcel of you, whether it is a place, or a person, or a, or a, or a situation. We have to understand. That doesn't mean that you become very dry and you become kind, come kind of you know uh, disinterested with the whole thing. It is being objective. That means intellect is in control of your life. Then there are no emotions. We will not do any manipulation because it's worthless. So, to, uh, coming back to the 21st of uh, December, transition has happened. I look at it as a gateway, an entrance way to earth another door. But again, it will take another 20, 28 years to settle down as we saw the build up. The time started speeding up. We can call it technological advance or whatever, but anyway, we have lesser time to perform. <coughs> this is the truth of the day. So, when we have lesser time to perform, we are in a hurry. So, we either we can do it in the positive way, such as we uh, accept the situation and say, okay, this is my capacity, this is what I can do and I am fine. It may not be the ex uh, as per the expectation of another, this is okay. Or you can run and fall. Many people go into depression because they can't cope with it. We, we get so many messages of that nature. Likewise, a bit distracted from this, but an individual uh, uh, message. One 18-year-old girl sent me a message from Delhi at 2 a.m. It, uh, it was a call, repeated call on my mobile number in Moscow. So I, I, I picked up and she's cutting it. Then I got a message. I'm, I have decided to commit suicide. Do you have anything to tell about it? So I replied back, if you have decided, I have nothing to say. Because <laughs> before a decision, if you ask me, then probably we can discuss something. Now you said you have taken a decision. Then they said, Monji, you are very cruel. I said, thank you so much for letting me know this. But I asked her, do you, are you aware of what you are doing? What are, what are you trying to run away from? So she said that I don't like the situation where I am. I said, okay. So I explained in a little bit. A soul can exit the body through nine navadwaras, nine uh, openings of our body. 
usually. But the soul entered our system through the sastra. That's why when you touch the top of the head of small children, it's very soft. So soul entered through that. So there was an opening here before. We, with our ego, with our conditioning, it closed. So all the practices are to get this opened again. That is why rooting on the spine or being aware of the situation, all these things. Now, we are operating in a friend-oriented way. That is, in 120 degrees. This is our operating level. 240 degrees are completely. <coughs> it's not available, or we are not aware that we can use it. So, when we operate in 120 degrees, it is definitely insufficient. We are not operating in our 100% capacity. When you are not op operating in your 100% capacity, how do you decide who you are? First of all, because you don't know who you are, right? So when an emotion happens, you nurture it, and mind become blows it up, and eventually I can't handle it. So I said, why don't you take one step backwards and try to bring this 360 degree? So she asked me how. Go to your spine. So she said how? Just feel your spine. Don't do any meditation because in such an agitated condition, how do you meditate? I said, feel the spine. Do you have a spine? She said yes. Feel it. Five minutes. Slowly, slowly, slowly. If you can continue this, you will be. Always like a backward player in the cricket. You know, when you take a step backwards, you get more time and space to play the ball. Likewise, you have more uh, control over the situation, or immunity from the situations. Now I said, okay, this is the situation. Usually, we can see the soul exit through the mouth in most cases. People open their mouth, the last breath leaves, and the soul leaves. So, because this is blocked. and But when a person commits suicide, Usually the soul is uh, soul has to exit in a hurry. It goes through the lower uh, region. Then what happens, you know, soul is completely, uh, it, it just exits and it goes into the next possible room. It could be a pig's home. It could be a goat's home. Any possible room. I said, do you want that kind of suffering in life again? That means completely unconscious. You don't even have a choice of what you should do. Absolutely unconscious. So I said, you have a choice to become Shiva in this life. That means fully conscious. <coughs> if you choose to exist in the in the level of unconsciousness, nobody will offer. This is your personal choice. But before you you use some strong words such as I commit suicide, etc., think before. But understand what you're trying to do. <coughs> then she she's now very normal. This is fine. Why I said this now is because pressure is building up. How to handle the pressure is a big question. The best thing to do is allow it to happen. Not resist. What is happening is my face, right, is there any deficiency? Nobody has any deficiency. Where is deficiency? You know? And I always tell you, your, your guru, the guru who is real for you is your own soul. Nobody else can be more close to you. Everybody else are road signs. You know? Just reminding you what you probably don't remember. That's all. What else can I do? Guru cannot put you on the shoulder and walk. Right? The path is open, direction is given, walk. If you fall, I will, uh, Guru will hold you. You will not fall. That is the only thing that Guru does over the period of time. Then look at our culture, Indian spirituality. It's never binding. Never ever, if you look at the tradition of our uh, Gurus and the tradition of our um, system, always liberation. They, 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 the Guru say, they stay liberated and they want others to be liberated. Nobody can bind anybody's leg on anybody because nobody can walk that way. Today, what I see, I'm not very fluent in the uh, Indian scenario because I only come and go. But uh, what I see from the internet is courses after courses. That is just engaging the mind. You know, as I said, you know, you have to go to subtlety to understand yourself because first of all, the first universe that you need to explore yourself. The moment you understand yourself, the same replica you see in the outside universe. You know, like uh, in Hyderabad, a uh, uh, journalist asked me a question. Uh, she, uh, the, about the, uh, uh, how do, uh, without matter, how do you operate in the outside? So I said, first of all, matter concept should be out of your mind. Matter is here. When the plane is gross, you need matter, such as the panja, Kosha, Spancha, I mean the, the elements which we uh, which are put together for the body that you need here because you are operating in a gross plane, which has limitation also. Like for 
for uh, bringing forth the next generation, you need to have a gestation or a procreation and gestation. But uh, in another plane, when the soul needs to multiply, it multiplies at will. And I said, in that plane, even a thought is very loud. You don't have to say, situation, everybody is aware because you are operating in perfect awareness, total awareness. I said, okay, see, one situation I will just, avatar is happening, Sri Rama decides to come. Then the vibration has gone into the space. The whole uh, enlightened masters or enlightened <laughs> beings or liberated beings existing out there understood a big event is happening in a plane which is gross. Okay, I decide to take a body, go down, assist the avatar. So Hanumanji happens, Vandra Sena happened. Like that, like in Krishna's time, all the gopis, gopas, cows, uh, the calves, they are all, uh, they decide to come to be around the avatar. Because this opportunity they don't want to miss. Likewise, during this time of transition from the gross to the relative subtle, so many souls have taken birth. Suddenly we, we have seen uh, what are babies or not. You know? So they, they decided to come forward and they said, okay, let me, because this time, the advantage of this time is, if you have to do hundreds of years of penance to reach a level of subtlety, now it's happening because by, by default. Because the nature has provided it. So just by being, just by being you, just by uh, connecting to your inside, you are reaching the stage which you would have reached probably over a lot of time. So we are lucky to be here now. This is a beautiful situation to be in. So um, definitely some shift is happening. <laughs> I would say shift is definitely happening. But it is not just a day. It's a process. Nothing happens in a day that way. Something has built up. Like if you look at the evolution of Earth itself, there has been a built-up for an event, Ice Age, for example. There is no way the uh, dinosaurs would have evolved into, into something much higher and much. So it was demolished. If you cannot rebuild a house or renovate a house after some time, the only thing you can do is destroy it and rebuild it. Period. Nothing else you can do. This is exactly what's happening now. So as uh, Kathian sir said, if you cannot handle that, if you cannot move into subtle, if you prefer to be gross, you could be annihilated, removed, because what else can you do? This is the situation, this is what is happening now. Is there any question on this? Because I would like to, I don't want confusion in any minds. If you would like to ask me any, any clarification on this, I will. Is that confusing? Did I confuse you further? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the intention anyway. So, uh, well, actually, actually, I would say today what I have seen, anybody who's who's got the uh, subtlety to take the next step, having individually assisted, not only by a walking master. I always say master is not a man or a being, but uh, assistance is happening, and elevation is happening on individual basis. You know, I met, like recently, I met a few people in Europe, I was in Europe uh, two, two weeks ago. Uh, they, they the, the way they were talking and the understanding that they have, I was completely amazed. Unless they have read scriptures or something, which is unlikely, you know. So, uh, I asked them what they do. They said, uh, 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. they meditate. That is Brahma Murtha time, our time. By default, nobody has taught them. But uh, this is the way, uh, so uh, there is a lot of assistance happening from various uh, masters existing not only in our plane but uh, invisible as well to take us further. And that's another thing also. People talk a lot about uh, soul mates and higher self. See, higher self we always had. Means consider ourselves as one globe, one, one full piece. This is, this is how we do for the first part. When we came here first time, we were full and complete. Then as we got entangled with the uh, affairs of the earth or relationships per se, relationships is a must because to enjoy uh, the experience of earth, one major part is our relationship. <coughs> Minus relationship, enjoyment on earth is, is uh, not good. So um, what happened is as we got entangled with the earth, the higher self, that is the complete completeness segregated, but it has not vanished. It is available. You can tap, tap into it at some times. 
Uh, that we do it sometimes. And now we are getting closer to that awareness. That means that unit is coming together. The half are joining together. That is why, that is also why people have a better understanding. Like if you uh, look at the world now, even if you just go through the internet, <coughs> the awareness, awareness with which people speak are amazing. You know, where do they get it from? You know, earlier one Shankaracharya had to come to clear up the mess, you know, which has been accumulated over a period of time. But today, there are many people who are of higher nature. Some of them are not coming out in the open. But like I, I met one uh, saint who lives on a tree in the last Kumbh Mela. I like to meet such people because I, I think that's more worthwhile. And uh, he, he, his, his energy was so powerful. So just in his presence was beautiful. So he was telling, uh, how many centuries men are chasing small, small cities such as I can see aura, so what? I can see chakras. I said, these things always change. From birth till death, it is never constant. Then why do you see them? And what do you gain out of it? I said, aura, chakra, kundalini. Kundalini is a big deal because there are many courses just for kundalini. Why don't you leave it alone? It will rise when it is ready. <laughs> you know? If you cleanse the path, it will grow. It will go. Go up because it's dropping. See, kundalini is the promise of God to man of heaven. <laughs> This is, this is the confirmation that is God has given this gift that you are eligible to be in heaven. That is the state of fullness, Sada Shiva Bhav. This is what is Kundalini. We are pushing and acting it and sometimes it goes in the wrong direction and they go on forever. It's happened many times. You know, so uh, I, I always say, see I never teach uh, people or I never approve any courses which is Kundalini activation. I said let it get activated when it's ready. Please be patient. But you can cleanse your path, for sure. That is, you through the through prana or through nada or whatever whatever you like, cleanse the path. So that when you are ready, when the obstacles such as karmic baggage are removed, <laughs> it goes. There is nothing for it to do. You know, it's a, this. Uh, if we follow sensations, we, we always get it. Because oh, today I meditated. I communicated with Shiva. So I ask the question: If you communicate with Shiva, you will never stand and talk. You would have opted for internal silence or you would have gone to Himalayas. If Shiva actually spoke to you, the whole shift would have happened. And a, 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 an entity in the nature of Shiva, which is so powerful, if he, if he communicates with you, he elevates you to that level. And you will not go down again back to your old uh, conditions. Like uh, many people, these are not my mental projections. So when we chase sensations, when we chase mental projections, 100% sure, progress is limited. You cannot grow. Because you are only chasing something very small. I always say, become Shiva or remain Shiva. You know, be, remain unconscious or become Shiva. You can do that in this life by shedding, by going one step backwards to self-exploration, understanding yourself. And I always say, don't go around choosing gurus, you know, because you have the power. You can use any literature or anything. Or if you have a question, you can ask somebody whom you trust. This is okay. Now, uh, some people spend the whole life searching for the right guru and don't find it. Then they are sad. Sometimes they practice various paths. And you know, most of the practices are just to control the mind. <coughs> or keep the mind under control. If mind is occupied, people are happy. Oh, I have done something great. But that is nothing. That is only a small part of our whole constitution. We are an ocean sitting up there, you know. So there is much more to explore. So go beyond the mind. Take one step further. Go through the intellect, through the ego, you know, and go through everything. Because you have all the time and all the power. But if you are satisfied with a few sensations, you will remain there. Likewise, cities, you know. When I had one communion with Babaji, which I written in the in my talk. I, at that time, I was completely silent and I was introverted. I was CEO of the company in Dubai at that time. It was very difficult because sometimes I don't even know my name. Checks will be on my table. I will write and I will think what to do because I used to go into blank states. Complete annihilation of identities for, for maybe a day or two. So, one, the, like that one day, I, had a, I mean, when I look at a person, I can see through the person. That was the city at that time. I see through the person and I know all the past lives and everything what is going to happen. Sometimes I feel inclined to tell. 
this is a human nature, you know. Not to show off, not for money, not, nothing, but you know, oh, I should help this person. So, if I'm telling you, if you walk this way, half a mile later, there is a, uh, uh, the road has been cut and you may fall. But you say, what are you talking about? I'm sitting here now. I'm not walking half a mile, but maybe tomorrow you may walk and you may fall. So, I am telling something in advance. So, people will sometimes get perturbed. Then I, I got the message, your job is to tell and get out of the place. Don't expect anything. That is fine. When I had the communion with Babaji, Babaji said, shed this, because this could be your hindrance of, pro of this time, for further progress. Don't look. Shed it. Immediately I dropped it. Because what I, what I am, I mean, whatever I am doing today has, has had a progress. And also this progress is mostly I feel, is with the shedding I did. Because uh, as Patanjali says clearly, you get this city, like for example, you concentrate on the tip of the nostril for a, for a uh, few months, you will start having a acute sense of smell. This is for sure. Like you attain the position of a CEO, all the perks will come, whether you like it or not. Siddhis will come, for sure. If you catch the Siddhis and say, I'm fine, that is the biggest trap you can ever have in spiritual progress. You know? So, as we go further, we have to keep, don't wait, don't stop till you reach Shiva, till you become him. And becoming Shiva, you may not even come back and say, I become Shiva. So, this is the again thing. I, if you read any of my literature, I never told anybody till now that I am enlightened. I don't even know. I don't have to know. This is the point. Why do I? Why should I put me in frames? Let's be beyond frames, you know. So even if tomorrow nobody recognizes, it's okay. But the peace is inside.